Is Abraham written in Greek? Is Moses written in Greek? Is yes. Jacob written in the Greek? Jews revealed, yes. revealed all, the wait, wait, all these were written in Hebrew language. Yes. So However, when it comes to English, they retain the names. In which language? In the Greek language. كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى كن سعيدا It's a simple question Is the word Yahweh Is the word Yahweh in 14? Is it there? So no Yahweh right? No Yahweh right? Is it Yahweh in 314? It is a different pronunciation It's a dialectal difference Absolutely false Because the translation of Ahyeh Asher Ahyeh is not Yahweh. I am who I am. Yeah, but not Yahweh. Yes, because Yahweh is the Hebrew. I am. This is Hebrew. I quoted to you. Yes, but in the English it means. Ah, that is better. Yes. Actually, that is better. Yahweh actually can mean that. Listen, God does God have a name? Who created God to give him a name? What do you mean? Who created God? Are you saying God doesn't have a name? Does he have a name? Of course, he has a name. Why would he say? Why would Jesus say, go and baptize them in the name of the Father? Why did God in the name of the Father? Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Even the Holy Spirit has a name, but you guys don't know that. No, no, no. Even the Father has a name in your New Testament. It's singular name. You know, in the Greek, in the Greek, it's singular name. No, no, no. One name, singular. No, no, no. In the Greek, it's singular. It doesn't say it's one. It's Greek. It doesn't say they are one. It's in singular. It doesn't matter. It doesn't say they are one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's in singular name. No, where does it say? All he says is that they have a common name. Okay. Even if it's singular, it says they have a common name. That's all. Does it say these persons are one? No. So what is that name that they share? I can speak to one at a time. But both of them. He presents the name. So, so the important like thing is what is the name that they share? What is the name what of name God? Exactly. What is the name of God in the New Testament? Yahweh. Show me that. In the New Testament, Yahweh. In the New Testament. So what is it in Greek? What, what is the name of Moses in Greek? Moses? Do they translate it as Moses? Wait a minute. Stop interrupting. Do they translate it as Moses? What did they translate the name of God in English? English. Normally it's no. In the in the Greek is the the they make use of the um, the honouring of the Church of Amazon by by Jews when it is Adonai. Right? Are you aware of that? Don't give me the translation. Sorry, no, the, the respecting. Like, like, if yes. they can if they can and use the, the word Greek, Yahweh. In the Greek they make use of the word Adonai because they're following the, the convention of the Jews because they were If Jews they themselves. were writing the name of Yahweh in the Old Testament, why can't they write it in the New? Because it's written in Greek. In so what if it's written? Is Abraham written in Greek? Is Moses written in Greek? Is yes. Jacob written in the Greek? Jews revealed, yes. revealed all, the wait, wait, all these were written in Hebrew language. Yes. However, when it comes to English, they retain the names. No, in which language? No, in the Greek language. But the Jews do not speak the name of God. No, I'm saying you. You are not, not reading Greek. You're reading English. The Jews do not speak the name of God. Okay, do you they say, they say Adonai why? or Hashem? Why? Why is that? Because they believe it's too holy. And why did they believe? Are you saying the Jews? I think the Jewish people did not believe it was holy. How? I'm asking you the question. I'm asking you. Do you think that Jewish people did not consider the name Yahweh as holy? No, they did. That's why they didn't say Yahweh. They said Adonai but or Hashem. But they wrote it. Yes, they wrote it because that's where it's. So why did the New Testament not write it? But they wrote it, but they didn't read it. There's a difference between the two. I'm it's asking, I didn't writing, ask you how they read it. There's a difference between writing and reading. You've got a problem understanding my question. I didn't ask you how they read it. I asked you why did they not write it? If they could write it in the Old Testament, why did they not write it in the New Testament? No, because they follow the convention of not speaking it. So in, so in the Greek, in the the, in you're doing it again. Way. No, you're telling me how they spoke. I'm asking you why did they not write it? Because in, the, because in the ancient world, Guess writing was dictated and if you have an amanuensis, you would write it down for you. It doesn't matter. Why did they not it write it? It doesn't matter. Just give it if, they, they, if they wrote it in the Old Testament, why did they not write it in the New Testament? The name of God. Why, can, why did they completely the remove the name of God? Because they follow the convention of not using the name of God because they deem it too holy. And why was it not too holy in the Old Testament? They didn't speak it. They wrote it, but they didn't speak it. Exactly what I'm asking yes, you. but I told you that in the New This is now I'm asking you for the time. in the New Testament that when they would write it down, they, one person would be dictating. So Paul would be taking dictating and having many answers, like Silas writing it down for him okay so what did he dictate Lord that's Lord. what written down and they wrote it down Lord yes and they forgot the name of God altogether no they didn't forget it didn't make use because it deemed it too holy how many times do I have to tell you that okay so it was too holy to write it down or to dictate it to dictate it so why did they not copy it from the Old Testament what about are you saying the only way I to told you wait, wait, wait. That are you telling me wait, wait. are answers. you telling me the only way they could write the New Testament yes is by looking at the Old Testament or by dictating in the Old Testament 
Like for example, Deuteronomy 6 4. Yes. yes, it talks about your Lord is God is one. Yes. Yes. The Shema. Yes. This Shema is also in the New Testament. Yes, I know. Yes. Paul Renzi, in first yeah. Corinthians. In the New Testament, it is exactly the same. There's no mention of Mark any three in one. Nine. It is still one God. No, 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 no. Right? Now you're changing the topic. No, I'm not changing the topic. The topic from the very beginning was about where did Jesus claim to be God? Yes? Or and about the Trinity. You no, mentioned, no, 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 I asked let's you, let's you let's I asked you about, about where Messiah. did Jesus claim to be God? You gave me, uh, I think it was, oh, was it Messiah? Anyway, Messiah Messiah. 848 has got nothing to do with Messiah. Then. What? No, but Nietzsche said, no, then he also asked me what, what, what Jesus claimed so to be which, God. So, which, so you, you quoted Isaiah, I remember that, uh, right. with reference right. to Messiah, Messiah, even though the term Messiah is not there. Secondly, yes, you quoted 848, again the term Messiah. Messiah is not there. So in both cases, Messiah is not there. No. So where is the evidence that the Messiah is to be worshipped? No, you're not even holding for the standards. Where no, is the evidence like for your, that? Your standards are completely out of whack. What do you mean my standards? Completely out of whack. You're, no, you're, you're How is my standards different to the Jewish people no, saying, who, who, who you're insist? You're saying just because what I quoted you didn't say the word Messiah specifically, that that section is not talking about the Messiah. So which section is talking about the Messiah? So, I don't know that reference off by, off by hand. I didn't ask you to give me the yes, exact reference. Yes, I, I know. paraphrase and, it to me. Yes, I know. And then you're having a go at me just because what I paraphrased you didn't actually mention the word Messiah. Yes, because yes, so why would it paraphrase to me something that has got nothing to do with Messiah? It doesn't mention Messiah. We look at the just say I don't know where it is. You, the where it is. you where it is. could have said I don't know where it is. What? Yes, but I know that reference. Can't read to where it is. You, you don't know the reference, no, and you, neither do you know how you to paraphrase. Said, you, it. No, you said oh, it's okay. You can paraphrase and we'll look it up later. Okay, I'll that's tell what you, you told me. I'll tell you what. That's what you told yeah, me. Yeah, but you. So now you come back and you start mentioning. When I say paraphrase it, I did not mean you quote me a word that got nothing to do with the Messiah. Okay. I'm done. Of course you're done because you can't find any answers. Typical, nothing nothing new. This is what we learn from the Christians. When we press them for the specific answers about the Messiah or about the Trinity, they run away. Because the Jewish people, when they were expecting the Messiah, they did not expect someone to be worshipped. And that is what it is. Sorry. Yeah, I finished it.